Okay, testing mic. Can everyone hear me? Okay, great, great. All right, how are you guys? Um, is my screen visible as well? Okay. Good, good, good. All right, so today is uh, August 22nd, and we are going over um, uh, the pro trading strategy, the basics, the absolute basics of uh, getting to know the pro trading strategy. Um, we're talking about exhaustion candles pivot points and uh, false exhaustion candles okay I'm gonna go over these three concepts today okay so let me um, by the way um, I'm recording this on my own so there will be uh, this recording will be available on YouTube and there's gonna be no more lags and stuff all right so let's take a look Perfect timing, I'm exhausted too. Okay. Um, let me shrink the screen here. So I can see your texts if you type. Okay, we have a pretty decent attendance. We have like 57 people and counting as of right now. And let's take a look. Uh, for those of you who are uh, how many of you guys are actually from my conference room who are already here? Are all of you guys here or just some of you? I saw Pipsurf earlier. Chris, hey, how are you? Nathan, Tommy, James. Okay, I'm Mohammed. Okay, so all of you guys are here pretty much. Um, okay, so yeah, this the level really holded, actually, that level that we had wanted an exit for. Perry, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, so let's get started here. Now, let me remove all the stuff out of my screen and I'm plotting, I'm plotting pivot points. For those of you who do not know where to get these pivot points, um, go to urbanforex.com. Uh, let me show you here. When you go to urbanforex.com, you click on Forex Strategies. Okay, whenever that loads, just a second. You go down to uh, Pro Trading Strategy, you click on that. And with all uh, the videos and the recaps and everything, you'll the, if you need a help how to install the indicator, there's a video tutorial here as well. And then uh, below all of that is your zip file for your pivot to install it. Okay? So, now, so you can get it there. Now, First things first, now let me delete this, okay. We trade on the one hour time frames and we trade pretty much seven different pairs. Okay, the pairs are Euro USD, Pound Dollar, US Dollar CAD, US Dollar Swiss Franc, Aussie Dollar, New Zealand Dollar, Euro Yen, and we have gold as uh, a reference. We don't trade gold, but gold is there as a reference. Okay. All right. Now, on most of our pairs, uh, what we actually look for are things called exhaustion candles. Okay. What is an exhaustion candle? Let me uh, point one out to you, and then we'll discuss it. Okay. There we go. This right here is what we call an exhaustion candle. Has a small body on one side of the candle and a very large tail, a tail that sticks out. You can notice it from a distance. Take and take a look at the previous candles. They're not so big compared to this candle. Okay? An exhaustion candle should have a couple things that uh, uh, that make a difference. One, it should be coming from a trend. Okay, in this case, it's in a downtrend. Two, it, the body, the, op the open and the close, it should be within the entire previous candle 
Okay, the high and the low of the last candle. Not within the body of the last one, but within the high and the low. Okay, and three, the tail must stick out. Okay, the tail should be big enough. It should stick out. There should be some open space on the left of it. Okay, um, and also four, um, not doesn't it's not so strong but uh, your previous candle should not be bigger than your exhaustion candle if that's the case then the strength is way too strong um, and the exhaustion candle just might not work okay now let's take a look at some more examples and then I'm gonna ask you guys I'm gonna do some quiz um, exhaustions and then you guys can tell me yes or no if it's an exhaustion or not okay Another exhaustion here, okay, comes down from a trend. The body is within the previous con previous candle. The tail nicely sticks out. It's a very large can, uh, very large tail. You can see it, and uh, it's bigger than the previous candle as well. Okay. Okay. These exhaustion candles basically what they do is they indicate a reversal in the market. Whatever trend you're in, and the moment an exhaustion comes up, the market ch changes direction. Okay, it wastes no time whatsoever to change directions, and it ch it changes almost um, very quickly. Okay, now let's move let's move back further. Okay, take a look at this one. Okay, is this an exhaustion? Based on what I've just told you guys, is this an exhaustion? No. Why? Okay, good, good. Previous candle, too big. Okay, um, uh, Zeke, it is actually within the previous candle. You can see the open and the close. It should be within this, this piece, within the entire previous candle see it's it is inside there okay yeah entire not body okay so let's move on is this an exhaustion candle Okay, let me make this a little bit easier. Okay. Okay. So I'm moving on forward, okay? Now, what about this one? Uh, so why do you guys say no for this one? Big tail, uh, big body to tail ratio. Okay, very good, very good. Um, uh, James, yeah. Now, take a look at that tail. The tail's not that big and the body is huge. Even though it worked out, it doesn't mean anything. Okay, stick to uh, the strictness of an exhaustion candle. The reason why you need to be so strict with exhaustion candles because an, an exhaustion candle actually goes against the trend and you need to be very careful when you go against the trend. You know, always remember that because the saying goes the trend is your friend and when you get an exhaustion you're going against the trend, you're, you're turning around suddenly. So you have to be very certain the trend is going to turn around. Okay? Is this an exhaustion?
Okay. We have mixed results here. Body too small, but yes. Okay, um, Tommy says, I'm confused. Uh, normally it's considered as a doji. A doji, basically what a doji is, is when you, let me, let me see if I can find you a doji. Doji is something similar to this. Where you have the open and close pretty much uh, at the same place with the tail on top and tail on bottom. In this particular scenario, you have a tail on one side. Uh, Zeke, yes, doji is more like a cross. Or a plus sign, if you want to call it. Okay. All right, now let's move uh, further back. Exhaustion? Yes or no? Okay, and why so? Why is this not an exhaustion? Um, I see some of you guys are saying yes, yes, yes. Some of you guys are saying no. There's a 50% poll. Almost half of you guys are still saying yes. Half of you guys are saying no. Okay, what are, what are the rules? What are the rules? Remember this. Remember these four rules. It must come from a trend. Rule number one. Okay, is this coming from a trend? No. This is in an uptrend, and then your exhaustion is also telling you it wants to go up. Okay, when you have an exhaustion candle, basically you have to put your arrow on the body, and it tells you which direction it wants to go. Okay. So it's it's not really an exhaustion. Now, next thing, it's so first of all, it's not in a trend. Two, is the tail visible? Yes, the tail is visible. Um, three, sorry, the third thing, is the candle bigger than the previous candle? Yes. And finally, the fourth step is uh, did the did the body close within the previous candle? No. In this particular case, it didn't. It didn't close within the previous candle. Second thing, take a look at how, how big the body is and look at the tail on the other side. Look how big that is. Okay, even though we have a big tail on the bottom, but there's a big tail on top as well. That means indecision. When you have decent sized tails on both sides, it means indecision. Okay, so that would be a no or the exhaustion. Is this an exhaustion? Okay, obviously not from the result. Don't don't look at the results. You'll be surprised how much money that can be made in just that little movement right there. We'll ex we'll get into that detail later. Right now we're just focusing on proper exhaustions. Half of you guys say yes, half of you guys say no. Okay. This is an exhaustion. What are the rules? Is it coming in from a trend? Yeah, if you take a look, it's in a downtrend. It's in an immediate downtrend. There's a high, a lower high, a lower high, and then another lower high. It's in a downtrend. Second of all, does the tail stick out? Yes, it's quite a large tail compared to the previous candle. Okay. Now, next thing. Is the body within the previous candle? Also, yes. So all these factors are true, making this a proper exhaustion. Okay. All right. How about this one? Is this an exhaustion?
Okay, you guys are getting more and more clear with this. Okay, what about the one right next to it? Is that an exhaustion? Okay, we're getting mixed results now. It would, the numbers are just going up and down. Is this particular one an exhaustion, the one we are looking at right now, this one? Okay, now, remember, the body is too big, okay? First of all, consider, look at the size of the body versus the size of the tail. So, right there, there's, it's a no. Second thing, did the body close within the previous candle? No. Okay, do not focus on what you see after that, okay? Because you really don't see the future when you're actually trading. But you're seeing it now, that's why you're deciding yes or no. But try not to look at the future, anything past this candle. Just look at this candle itself and you tell me what it is, okay? So in this particular case, no. Also not an exhaustion. Uh, just a second, please. Hello? Hey, uh, I, I'm doing a seminar. Can I call you back in like 20 minutes? All right, cool. Um, all right, sorry about that. Okay, now let's go back. Exhaustion? Okay. No, no, no. How about this one? Exhaustion? Stick to the rules. Stop looking at the candle next to it and seeing that it fell, so it's an exhaustion. You cannot see this in the future. What are the rules? Everything in this blue area, you did not see. You cannot look into the future. When this candle shows up, do you know if it's an exhaustion or not? Okay, body is not inside the previous candle. There you go. It's an invalid exhaustion. Leave it alone. Okay. Moving further. Exhaustion. Yes or no? This one. Anything in the blue you've never seen? Okay. We're crossing over to the yes. Okay, good, 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 yes. This is an exhaustion because even though all these candles are quite big, the candle right before the exhaustion is the one that we what matters, not anything else. The rest we can just look at for a trend. Okay, now, okay, so we got our exhaustions down. Okay, everybody is getting familiar with exhaustions. One last one, exhaustion, yes or no? Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, yeah, this is a pretty much a perfect exhaustion. It looks very beautiful. All right. Now, we have our exhaustions down. Now, one more pattern we want to recognize is an upside down exhaustion. Okay, what is an upside down exhaustion? So let's take a look. Okay, when it comes to an upside down exhaustion, it doesn't uh, have to be in those four criterias. Okay, 
This right here is an upside down exhaustion. It's not telling you the trend is going to reverse. The, an upside down exhaustion actually tells you it's a trend continuation. Remember, if you put the arrow on the body, it tells you which way the market wants to go. Okay? Now, if you move on for actually right here. Okay? This right here, trend continuation pattern, the tail must be slightly bigger. Okay? The tail to uh, body ratio is, is too bad. So this is a bad trend continuation pattern. Okay? Check out this one, the tail to body ratio. Almost identical. Okay, Hassan, does that uh, make sense? This is the reason why. Slightly bigger than the body or almost just like the body. Okay, so um, basically, whenever you have doubt of the exhaustion candle, don't trade it. Okay, rule of thumb. If you have doubt, don't touch it. Okay, even if you are uncertain for by half a percent, don't touch it. Leave it alone. Wait for the next one. Okay, what about this one? Trend continuation? Yes or no? Tricky, tricky, yeah. We're getting mixed results again. Okay, we're gonna do this for another three or four more minutes to go for upside down exhaustions. We're gonna cover uh, um, false exhaustions and then we're gonna go head on into pivot points and then put them all together. Okay. All right, this is a trend continuation pattern. Yes, that is a yes. Okay, market's going upwards. It tried to go down, but it closed back up near its open, giving you this indication that it wants to go long. Okay, and all the criteria is matched. It comes from a trend, but it's going in the same direction of the trend, trend continuation pattern. Tail is bigger than the body as well. It's quite clear. You're good to go for a long. Okay, market continues. All right, now, pop quiz, exhaustion, yes or no? This one. Okay, what is the main reason this is not an exhaustion? There you go, Phil. Phil's got it. Smaller than the previous candle. Look at the size of this last sucker here. It's humongous. This little thing has no chance. Okay, it cannot stand against it. It has no chance. Okay, all right. So, all that said and done now let's get into the good stuff how do we make money from this that's that's what it all comes down to right how do you make money from all this okay let's take a look now whenever you trade okay rule of Naveen's thumb remember that whenever you trade plot your pivots and when you plot your pivots make sure you have this pivot indicator which I told you where to get on urban forex the reason why I say this particular indicator, I didn't design or anything, some, some, somebody designed it. But uh, what this indicator does is every day it plots the pivot points for you and it leaves them uh, um, automatically there. It doesn't adjust or anything, it just leaves them there for you to see. Now why, why is this beneficial? Whenever you're trading and you're looking at your pivot points, always make sure you have three days worth of data. How many days? Three days. Okay. Now, let me remove this here. All right. This being current day, 
this being uh, the previous day and uh, this being uh, the day before okay everything works in harmony okay now let me show you an example um, of why we use three days now let's let's move back to for example let's say this is the current day okay let's uh, scroll back a little bit so you guys can see it clearly oh okay let me just redo that this is current day this is yesterday and this is the business day before okay now market goes up down up down up comes down and boom it never makes it to s1 why why does it halt here okay when you use your three days worth of pivots use the one that's closest to the current market so from three days ago this line is coming in and you can see pinpoints it grabs the market yesterday same thing it never made it to s1 but it turned around from here okay this happens all the time okay always look at three days worth of pivots okay you can practice this you can go through any of your charts on on your spare time I just wanted to show you this rule of thumb okay now putting this knowledge together with your exhaustions okay you want to look for an exhaustion that forms around these pivot lines telling you it wants to go in your favor okay so let's let's look at those same exhaustions that you guys said yes and no to me for let's look for them where were they okay did we agree that this was an exhaustion yes yes okay okay so everyone agreed that this was an exhaustion so how do you use these three days pivots to your favor the exhaustion candle forms the next candle opens up it's first of all it's bouncing off of how many supports it's bouncing off of today's s2 it's bouncing off of yesterday's s1 it's bouncing also off of three days ago over here you can see the body is closed right above it okay so next candle opens up you're gonna buy what is the nearest um, pivot line on the way all the way up here right nothing else comes uh, first all the way up here this right here is what we call the guaranteed zone of profit hook or crook this you get this money all the time it will always touch this level when you buy okay let me guys sh show you guys another example let's go back to uh, the other exhaustions you guys agreed on exhaustion here agreed Okay, uh, Bartek Naveen, what if an exhaustion candle bouncing off of a pivot or two and stopping just before another pivot, do we enter? Um, Bartek, no. In that scenario, you do not enter. Okay, so we agree that this was an exhaustion. So what happens now? Okay, you do the same thing. Uh, first of all, this exhaustion is bouncing off of S1 and S2. Excellent. It's telling us it's bouncing off of support. It's getting ready to turn around. Okay. What is the nearest, nearest resistance in the last three days? The closest thing is nothing for today, but yesterday. This is the absolute nearest thing. From here, you're opening up the next candle all the way up to this yellow line. Your 27 pips of profit is your guaranteed profit zone. You will get that profit. Okay? Is everyone with me so far? Everyone understands this concept of uh, the guaranteed profit zone. OK, 
Okay, uh, Bartek says, what if the first pivot is just a few pips away from an entry point on few charts? Uh, do we wait until the next one if the pairs have more space? Yes, if it's only a few pips away, don't don't trade it. Okay, it's not worth it. You're you're giving your broker um, just just spreads. Okay. Okay, Phil, um, it's the only way. That I use the word guarantee because it's the only way to have people actually try it. Okay, I I really. Um, it, for me, it really doesn't matter how many people actually tell me in the webinar, nice webinar, this and that. I really enjoy it more when actually people try it, come back and say, that was awesome. Okay, so try it for yourselves. Try it out and then uh, um, and let me know. Um, okay, Phil2 says, if profit from close of exhaustion candle or touch of support. Okay. Uh, I, I don't think I understood that question, but um, okay. Now let's let's move on. Let's move on. There's, we're short on time here, but let's let's move on. I'll get to the questions towards the end. Yeah, I'll, I'll save maybe 10, 15 minutes for you guys, and I'll give you as many questions as you'd like. Okay. Now let me guys teach you guys another thing. Something called correlation. How many of you guys know what correlation is? And actually, how many of you guys do not know what is correlation? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Anyone new who does not know what is correlation? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... Richard, yes, um, there are many other pairs that uh, correlate also uh, from uh, our pairs that we, we can go into much more correlation than our seven pairs and actually really bag in a lot of pips. But if you have the seven pairs wrong, you can also add in a, a lot of negative pips. So first thing first is get used to seven pairs, get comfortable with the amount of numbers fluctuating in front of your eyes, and then work towards... Uh, um, working with bigger pairs because then you're playing with bigger numbers like 500 pips at a time can you handle a movement of 500 pips negative okay right now you probably play with 100 200 but when you go with up to 500 that it can, can scare somebody okay so how do you check correlation what is correlation let me explain to you guys okay let me explain it the easy way there's a website from Oanda I go to Google, I type OANDA currency correlation. I click on the first link, which says currency correlation from OANDA. Okay. I click on heat map and I can select any currency I, I want. For example, if I want to see Euro USD, which pairs correlate with Euro USD. Okay. Anything that is dark red, not just from one time, uh, for the majority of the of the column, if it's dark red, it means it correlates with the euro dollar. So it means if it's red, it goes in the same direction. If it's blue, it goes in the opposite direction. So euro USD, euro yen together, but Swiss franc opposite. Let's take a look. Let's actually put this in play. That's current day. Okay, if you take a look at yesterday, euro USD skyrocket rising. Okay, euro yen yesterday skyrocket rising okay and then we look at Swiss franc at yesterday same thing but in the opposite direction okay so this is what we this is what we call correlation you need to understand uh, the concept of correlation okay and this will tell you what pairs correlate and what not okay and uh, I use seven pairs, and I told you guys in the beginning, you guys can watch it on the video again uh, later, which pairs it is. Now, what do we need to do? Now, this is the first trade that we saw, right? We saw an exhaustion, we saw it bouncing off of a support or resistance, 
and the market's now continuing and you know that from here to here you have guaranteed profit of 14 pips how many of you guys are happy with 14 pips okay Dominic says better than none okay that that is a good way to look at it if you guys are happy with 14 pips even if it's guaranteed you guys are over leveraging okay it's simple as that the moment a small amount of pips makes you happy that means you are over leveraging means you are using too much leverage and uh, you know too much lot sizes okay so how do we use this analysis and uh, make the most out of this now what day is this this is your um this is i'm sorry 15th august and at 1700 on my screen let's go to pound which correlates okay august 17 was it 17 what what day is it? i forgot uh 15th at uh, 1700 i think it was yeah on 15th 1700 let's go to the 15th at 1700 okay all right okay an exhaustion look-alike not an exhaustion okay but we know it's gonna go long okay the next candle opened up it went this long this is probably the same amount of distance that Euro USD would have given you to hit its uh, target. Okay, if you take a look at Swiss franc, the one that goes opposite on the fifteenth of August, at the same time frame. Uh, by the way, your pivots might vary slightly from mine. So if you guys want the exact same ones, you can always go to fxpro.com and uh, uh, download their MetaTrader, and you can use it from there. Okay, take a look. Do you see an exhaustion here as well? Same time, yeah? 1700, same time. Exhaustion, bouncing off of pivots. Next candle opens, boom. Touches your guaranteed profits much, much later, but it does touch. Okay? If you add all of these things together, because you know correlations, which pairs go together and which pairs go opposite, you can add in quite a bit of pips. Just confirm that not just one pair has exhaustion, but there are at least two or three pairs that give you exhaustions. Okay. Uh, Jordan, will you hold that trade for that long? I personally will not. Okay, I would probably take my profit around here somewhere in the next two or three hours. Okay, Dominic, best time frame for this or anything, in fact, one hour one hour for private investors one hour is the best time frame it, it helps psychologically it helps with trading and it helps with keep out the fundamental nonsense okay Bartek uh, should we exit all the transactions if one or two get to the next pivot line yes you enter them all together you exit them all together never treat them separately okay so when you do something like this, what it actually does is most pairs will actually go very quickly in your favor and the other pairs will be lagging behind. One or two might even be negative, but overall you'll be in profit and probably a far more bigger profit and safer than when you were to take one pair by itself. Okay, everyone understand the concept so far of uh, using exhaustions combined with pivot points and knowing your entry uh, exit sorry okay now now we have 15 minutes to go let's take examples from various various different candle types and we get to check them out on different different currency pairs and we get to see uh, from there okay um, great great a quick question uh, please Naveen is hundred dollars too low to trade with uh, if you're trading micro lots it's not it's always good to start somewhere. 
Okay, this Monday, would you enter uh, bot trades? I made 152 pips. Thank you, appreciate. Um, wait, uh, Phil. Sorry, I, I just saw your question. Um, stops, okay. Now, in terms of stops, we use also the pivot lines. Here's the reason why. Now, how do we exit? Do we exit one pair at a time? No, right? This is the reason why we cannot have exits because we don't exit one pair at a time. Same reason goes for stops. We cannot play stops because one pair might touch it while the others do not. Okay? The only way to understand where you're exiting out your trades is once the market actually goes to the other side of your pivot line and closes there. If that happens in one or two pairs, exit out the entire batch, close out everything. That's when you know you want to exit into a loss. Okay? It's almost 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 very very rare that an exhaustion will not will not work. As long as all the criteria are met an exhaustion I would say above 90% of the time work. Okay, um, Zeke, how to do batch order? You can go to urbanforex.com. There is a blog post saying, uh, I forgot the name of the blog post. I'm sorry. Uh, it's called uh, batch order script or something. Um, you'll find it. Or just come to urbanforex.com in the chat room and people will uh, help you find it. They are very friendly there. Okay, now... Let's take a look at trend continuation patterns. Okay. further back okay it's not going further back okay let's pick a different pair so I can show you let's clean this up okay tell me this is this a good trade Yes or no? Um, you're saying, can you not show today live? Uh, actually, there was an exhaustion today that we took. Um, you can go to uh, uh, forexwatchers.com forward slash, um, I'm, I'm sorry, youtube.com forward slash forexwatchers. There's a video of there of us uh, doing it today. Okay, okay, no, 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 good, good, good. So that's correct. This is not a valid trade. Even though it looks perfect, it's not valid. Okay, moving further back. Let's take a look. Um, I want to find you guys a trend continuation pattern. And uh, don't get me wrong, you will find them often. Okay, I'll have to find them and get screenshots for you guys for that. Um, okay, Naveen, are you only giving out a pro strategy on Forex Watchers for trade signals? Uh, skip, no, 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 no. 
Um, pro's trading strategy is for Urban Forex. Uh, at Forex Watchers, we do a little bit more more advanced things over there. Um, we play with the forecast. We do uh, we go more into the advanced techniques of pro trading strategy, where we look at candle by candle and all of that stuff. So, um, oh, by the way, um, those of you who are really, really trying to get into the conference room, uh, make sure you guys join the waiting list because next week's the promotions begin and the moment the rooms are full, it will close, I'm telling you. I'm only going to be doing these uh, conference rooms for another uh, six months or so, so get your access as fast as you can because the discount is like 50% off um, on the promotions next week. So, um, if you, uh, and here is the waiting list uh, email. Uh, I'm sorry, address. So yeah, we're trying to fill up the room and once it's full, it's full, it's done. Okay, now, let's take a look at uh, some pairs here. Okay, now, one other thing I wanted to, there's one more candle pattern that I wanted to explain to you guys, which we call a, a false exhaustion. Okay, um, really use the link that I just gave you guys slightly above. Okay, um, Walter, I see the other word. Okay, those of you who used the early bird, who got the early bird emails, basically that's a coupon code that you need to use on a specific time on Monday. There's a subscribe button you can go to, and it will give you a. Uh, uh, a place where you can enter your coupon uh, before you check out and if you enter that in you'll get like 50% off or 40% off depending on if you don't make it in that one hour for as an early bird then you are eligible for like 40% um, in, in the sale period okay so the early birds have uh, first come first serve um. all right now let's move on here now I'm going to find you guys a pattern which we call a false exhaustion. This right here is what we call a false exhaustion. Okay, any ideas why? Why is this why is this something that we call a false exhaustion? Uh, Forex boy, are you going to stop doing free seminars like these? No, no, not at all. The education continues. It will never stop. I will continue to teach you guys as much as I can in terms of um, education. But sitting and trading with me, um, it's something that uh, it's a uh, something we do at Forex Watchers, and apparently can't really do that with Urban Forex. But we got to keep Urban Forex alive, right? So the, that's where the money comes from at Forex Watchers. Okay, so here we go. Um, Body to tail ratio uh, doesn't meet criteria. Closing not within previous candle. Okay, yes. When you have a body almost as big as a tail and it doesn't go within the four pieces of criteria, this is what we call a false exhaustion. That gives you a trend continuation pattern. It tells you the market is actually going to go long rather than turning around. Okay, Jake, uh, there's no problem at all. You're very welcome. Okay. Uh, Robert, it's not uh, uh, Forex Watchers is not a signal service, but we do talk about entries and exit. Take a look at the video. Um, there's a video that uh, uh, I gave out. Um, so I, I think it's YouTube.com. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Forex Watchers. Okay, enough promotion talk. We, uh, we need to focus on this and uh, get this uh, get this done for you guys. All right, now. If we take a look at, uh, let's take a look, um, let me see if I can find you one more example and then we can quiz you guys on what is a false exhaustion because I know this is a very big concern for a lot of you guys. Uh, Mark Sanders, so is it safe to say that a false uh, exhaustion is really a trend continuation indicator? Um, usually yes, but when you consider it as a trend continuation, do not expect it to go too far. Okay, I'll, I'll explain why once we get an example.
okay this one is not valid the body is too small we need one that has a, a decent sized body a decent sized tail that is a trend continuation Um, Naveen, what do you think may happen to your OUSC current candle? Uh, okay, let's take a look. One second here. Your OUSD. Current candle. Temporarily short and then long. Um, let me take a look at the other pairs if you guys want the current analysis. One second here. All right, take a look at this pat uh, pattern here. Keep an eye on this one. A mini little exhaustion. Okay, next thing. Support line. Okay, it's closing below it as well. So, are we clear for a landing? Maybe. Let's take a look at the other pairs. US dollar CAD trying to go long, so it is correlating with pound. Okay, good. US dollar Swiss franc. Okay, it is also trying to go long, and if it does go long, and it closes the way it is, we have the nearest resistance over here. Okay, Aussie dollar, indications for a short, very nice, also closing below a support area soon. New Zealand dollar, indications also for a so, uh, short with support right over here. I think that is a pivot line. Let me, there you go. Okay, enough space to go down. So, why don't we take this all of our education, what we've just learned, and use it? Okay, take a look at Euro Yen. Okay, Euro Yen, on the other hand, it said it's it's indecision here. We don't know if it wants to go long or short, we can't really see. Right? And then we can use gold just to check. Gold usually correlates with Euro USD not really clear as well okay so the only pairs that are telling us are uh, euro dollar pound um, well pound is not even confirming now so in the next five minutes if pound actually closes below this and uh, quite sharply then it is pretty much safe to say to enter all these pairs into a short until your next support and resistance line okay does that make sense so far Okay, so let's go over questions. Ronald, hope you're right. Uh, I hope so too. I hope so too. Um, Jordan, so we do not need exhaustion candles for this strategy. Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. What we have here is what we, what we call an exhaustion candle lookalike. Okay. If this actually forms like a proper exhaustion, okay, if it properly forms like an exhaustion, we know a couple things. One, this area here is quite strong. It's holding in the market for quite some time. It also held in the, the market from yesterday from going long or longer, sorry. You can see the tail here. Um, if we go back in time and take a look at this area, like what is this area? You will probably see support and, and act, it acting as a resistance in the past. If the market has gone that high, just a second, I'll just confirm. No. Okay. Looking at your other pairs. Now, all these other pairs, if they close clearly with a with a tip, um, with barely a little bit of tail on uh, one side, um, going in the direction together with uh, pound, you're good to go. But as of right now, three minutes to candle close, they're all acting up right now. They're all giving you tails on both sides. So indecision so far take a look pound is no longer looking like an exhaustion anymore okay or an exhaustion look-alike you might just even get an upside down exhaustion if uh, the time is right 
if in the next three minutes this closes a little bit sharper lower, we might even just get a trend continuation pattern for a short and upside down exhaustion. High, lower high, lower high, boom. Okay, so eyes on CAD as well. All right, so um, that's my reasoning too. Euro USD is too high for long. I hope um, n never, never think like that. Um, when the market trends, it trends nonstop. Uh, there is no nothing stopping it. So there's no such thing as it's gone too high, too low. It, and if it does retrace, it'll retrace a little bit before it goes back again, or if it continues to trend again. Okay, Phil two says maybe urban tower trade. Yes. Um, Usually at times like this, you'll get a lot of uh, trades from urban uh, urban tower strategy. Okay, as per um, HSN above, uh, bar small relative to previous. Okay, I'm holding them short since yesterday. Oh, ouch. Okay, and uh, so it doesn't have to stick out. Lutec, uh, it does have to stick out. This is an this is a look alike, and it does not look like it's gonna actually even work because there's only one minute to candle close right now and there's a tail on the bottom that's bigger than the body okay so nothing is confirmed right now indecision on Aussie dollar indecision New Zealand dollar tail on top tail on bottom everything's all equal Tail, top, bottom, and the candle, all equal sizes. Euro yen. Euro yen actually giving you an indication for a long trend continuation pattern. Take a look at that. Big tail on bottom, a body forming towards the top. If you put the candle on top of it, you have your rocket. Okay, I'm going to put that right below here. Bouncing off of support to, be, uh, to take it even further. Take a look at that. Three days worth of support closing above that. Okay, and then finally we take a look at gold, see if gold has any indications. Uh, no indications on gold other than it's slowly inching its way up. Okay, does the color for exhaustion candles matter? No, it does not. Is 1,000 uh, pounds good enough to trade this strategy with? Um, it depends. If you're trading uh, micros, yes, it's, it's not a problem at all. Uh, Jordan, so if uh, nothing comes up at the candle close and the signals we were looking for comes out 20 minutes later, would you enter? No. Always wait for a uh, candle close. Okay, do you uh, couple FIBO into this pro strategy? Uh, no. No, I do not use uh, Fibonacci into the pro trading strategy. Uh, Teman, yes, there is a recording for this and uh, I will release it by tomorrow. It should be on YouTube for you guys. Um, please do help me, uh, please rate it and uh, help me share it if you can. I would like to definitely share the strategy as much as I can with everyone. Okay, let's take a look at uh, what the candles did at the close of the hour. Euro Yen looking long right about now. New Zealand dollar uh, also looking long. Aussie dollar looking long. Swiss franc mm, indecision. CAD looking short. There we go. We have a direction in the market and it is long. Okay. Let's wait for Euro USD to cross above this. Pound, pound is also long. Everything is indicating long. Take a look at how pound ended up closing. You see it was, it was trying to create an exhaustion, but turned around and it closed way towards the top of the candle. Markets have strength for long, and you will probably see it start going up in the next five minutes. Okay, uh, Hassan says uh, New Zealand dollar will retrace to pivot then long, right? Because it's false exhaustion. Okay, let's take a look at New Zealand dollar. 
Okay, usually there's always going to be a retrace to the nearest support resistance. In this particular case, your retracement should be around this area. This area seems to have uh, support resistance strength. If you can go to the back, you can check what is this level of this yellow line that we've drawn. Okay, see here, pinpoint supports. No bodies coming out of this, only tails. Again, no bodies coming out, only tails. So this uh, this line has uh, power. Okay, and you can see it's probably just fooling around from this area. Should get ready to go along. Okay, yes, as mentioned in advanced uh, pro trading strategies, yes, yes, I think our uh, previous one of support and resistance um, goes more into detail on how uh, to read candles like uh, professionally in terms of tails and all that stuff and euro yen is also done its retracement it bounced back down to our yellow line which was now acting as support instead of resistance and that's done it's getting ready to head for its long euro usd slightly inching up over the yellow line which is the trigger zone and pound already trying to lead the market okay so the markets are long um nelson apart from exhaustion candles what else can we look out for in price action for trades uh what causes correlation uh big hands correlation uh the reason why you have correlation is because the US dollar is making a movement. The common thing between all of these pairs that I have is the US dollar. Okay, that's the reason why they all move in a similar fashion. Okay, I am uh, making I'm making money. Thanks a lot, Naveen. Uh, are you long, uh, Bartek? Okay, Kevin, how do we uh, decide which pair to exit and all other uh, follow to exit? Okay. Kevin, so let's take a look at this particular uh, particular pair. Which is the nearest um, support and resistance uh, support and resistance line for? Which pair has the one that's closest? Okay. Pound is all the way up here. Okay. Pip Surf says CAD. Okay, let's take a look at CAD. Where is CAD? Okay, since cat is short. Okay, remember this is a oh there we go. This is exactly what I was looking for earlier today. A uh, trend continuation pattern, an upside down trend continuation pattern that's bouncing off of a uh, resistance. Okay, so uh, very good for pointing uh, this out for me to do it on live market. Actually, we I couldn't find this example in the past. So lucky guys, lucky guys. Okay, so. Where is the closest one for this? Let's take a look. This was one area which it already breached. Next area was right here. There's strength here. You can see it's having a hard time cross through. Where's pound at now? Has pound reached? Yes, pound is pretty much reached also towards the tip. Indications for exit. Okay, you can see how it's bouncing back now. So does it make sense? We've actually even taken a trade together with this. Not not bad, not bad. Okay, Hassan says, uh, so exhaustion candle of trend continuation, uh, um, where'd it go, sorry. Exhaustion candle of trend continuation doesn't have to be bigger than the previous one. No, it does not. Okay, like the CAD. Uh, that's correct, that's correct, like the CAD. When you look at correlation, uh, you will start to understand. When you see patterns, you look at the rest of the market, and you're like, okay, it is bouncing off a of support or resistance. There is space to move. Things look good. Uh, Nathan King, 35 pips, 5 minutes. There you go. Good, good, very good. All closed. You have a, you have a pint on me. Okay, we will do, we will do. Okay, so any questions? Everyone understand the strategy, the basic of the strategy so far. How to use it. Okay, good. 
Um, everyone understand the concept of trend continuation pattern, like upside down exhaustions. Um, have I have I write about exhaustion candles? Uh, no, there's no articles anywhere. Um, Hassan says, Naveen, could you explain 13th August, 10 a.m.? Um, okay, sure. Uh, what pair would you like to see, Hassan? Uh, Raphael, if you guys um, actually want to uh, create a room where you guys trade the pro trading strategies together on uh, Urban Forex, I would be more than happy to um, chip in for a nice conference room and uh, where I can pick some senior members who trade this and have you guys all sit and trade together and keep the room open 24 hours. Um, I, I'm expecting that to happen with Urban Forex as the main uh, chat room and the discussion board. But uh, if you guys really want something like this where it's a proper conference room, I, yeah, we, we can do that. That's not a problem. That might uh, be able to help you guys. Okay, uh, Tony, Sal uh, Tony Salta, I have the discount coupon for Forex Watchers, so do I have to do, what do I have to do to join? Okay, um, as, as far as I recall from the promotion, um, first of all, um, those of you who are not on uh, the waiting list, get onto the waiting list as soon as you can, um, because you get automatic emails for when, when to uh, subscribe and stuff. Um, what was the list? Uh, it was conference.forexwatchers.com. Um, once you invite three people, uh, you get uh, this early bird promotion thing, uh, which is a coupon that gives you 50% off. But that coupon can only be used in a certain time on Monday for one hour. Okay, you get 50% off. Um, if you missed the earlier bird special, we do have a, a five day sale. Uh, which will give you 40% off and uh, um, Cyan this is on monthly or quarterly it applies to both but only the quarterly subscriptions have access to the conference room um, there is no price difference between both uh, their quarterly is just three times the monthly one that's all and I just add in a conference room uh, with the quarterly subscription okay I am in the Eastern time zone what time interval do you recommend that uh, look for trade on seven pairs uh, Walter, you can trade from uh, U.S. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, yes, uh, 3 a.m. all the way onwards to 12 p.m. That is a good time. Can you guys excuse me one moment, please? Hello. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so um, 3 a.m. all the way down to 12 p.m. Okay. Um, Zeke, will the monthly subscription be having 50% off? Yes, yes, even the monthly subscription. If you guys just want to use the forecast, um, yes, even you can get access to that. And remember, these rates get locked in, if, even if the prices increase or as long as you don't cancel, these rates will be yours um, at the 50% rate. Um, many, of you guys, many of the people will already tell you that uh, the rates have gone up uh, quite high in the last uh, one week already. And... Also, we have some conference room members here. You guys can, you know, more than happy to ask them questions, you know, how they like it. And I'm, I'm sure they'll tell you. Um, Forex Watchers goes from 3 a.m. until what time? Uh, just a moment. Please. Hello? Hello? Okay. Forex Watchers goes from 3 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time all the way till uh, uh, 7 or 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's a four to five hour uh, conference thing that I have. Okay, that's why I don't charge anything actually extra because it's only four to five hours. So it's it's just three months worth of forecasting gets you access to the conference room. Remember, if it's full, it's full. We have, I think, 100 seats, so you guys still should have a chance to get in. We have quite a big uh, waiting list right now. Uh, Daniel, it seems that true exhaustion candles are not so frequent. Yes, they are. In fact, in fact, take a look at pound. Pound just might become an exhaustion candle. Um, this current trade right here. 
We went long, we made money from it. There's a chance for us to make money for a short now. Let's wait and see what happens. Let's, um, Nathan, it was my first time in a conference room today. Definitely worth it, guys. Okay, Tommy, totally agree. Okay, yes, the, uh, Tommy and Nathan uh, just joined in today. Um, Roly, exhaustion candle from north to south is when the arrow points to north. How about uh, from north to south? Okay, yeah. Roly, sorry about that. Let me show you. This is an ex exhaustion that tells you the market wants to go down. Okay, you obviously have to wait for a candle to close, but something like this. This is it. This tells you it wants to go from, in, it's a north uptrend, it wants to turn around and go down. Okay. Okay, Bartek, thanks for another great webinar. Uh, Naveen, can't wait to join Forex Watchers. Yes, I will, hopefully I'll see you guys next week. Uh, Skip, Naveen, are you saying 50% savings lifetime? Yes. And I thought the trade signal comes out at 2 a.m. It comes out at 3 a.m. It's it's again uh, it's not a signal service, guys. It's it's analysis. Um, we do not tell you exactly when to enter, when to exit. Although I do train you guys in the conference room how to watch things like that. Uh, Jovinder Bhatti, uh, can I join now or will I have to wait till Monday? Um, I think. I, I'll, I'll have to check with uh, the people at Forex Watchers. If they are awake right now, maybe I can have them turn on the coupon for you guys right now if you guys want to actually use the coupon code because I don't have the coupon code with me. Um, but I think they might be able to turn on them. We did some exceptions for some people today. That's why we had three new people in the room today. Um, they contacted us directly and said that we need, we need to get in. So we, we got them in. Um, Roly, does the color matter? No, it does not matter. Uh, don't worry about the color at all. Uh, uh, Britpol, the candle at 7 a.m. Is that a good continuation candle? Um, are you talking about this one? Is this the one at 7 a.m.? Okay. Uh, Roly, thanks, Bruv. Thanks. Uh, Naveen, you trade with FX Pro? Yes. And Britpol, yes. This is a good trends continuation pattern. Okay, Kevin, can you repeat the four rules to identify an exhaustion candle? Yes, of course. Um, the four rules are rule number one, it must be in a trend. Rule number two, the tail must stick out. Okay, rule number three, the body must close within the previous entire previous candle. And finally, rule number four, uh, the exhaustion candle should be bigger than the previous candle. Okay. Also, um, uh, Kevin, if uh, you want, you can always uh, look for this video. Just type Pro Trading Strategy Basics tomorrow on YouTube. Or you can go to our Urban Forex YouTube channel and just find it there. It'll be there tomorrow. Um, uh, Robert Naveen, what's a good U.S. broker to use? If you're in the U.S., use um, FXCM or Gain Capital, which is Forex.com. Uh, they're they're pretty decent. They're they're big. They're regulated. Uh, they're, they're pretty good. I've used them before. Every broker gives you their hanky pankies. Don't worry about it. We're not in the in uh, the business to scalp. As long as you're not scalping, you're okay. Any broker will do. Okay, just make sure they're big. As long as they're big, you know, they do less hanky-panky stuff because they get caught very easily. Okay, thanks a ton for the strategy. Going to pray for exhaustion candles in church. <laughs> You're very welcome, Raphael. Um, Roly, what about me? I need the coupon to get in and subscribe, please. Uh, okay, Roly, why don't you uh, uh, ask one of these guys for the coupon code? Otherwise, you can join the waiting list. Um, do you guys want to join today? Is is that what you guys want to do? Should I actually call up Forex Watchers and tell them to open up the coupon uh, for a little bit? Okay, give me one second. Give me one second. Let me, let me see. I can call them right now.
Yeah, it's a mirror. You know that uh, early bird special thing? Yeah, go ahead and uh, activate that for the next hour. Yeah, I got some people who want to join right now. Okay, yeah, go ahead and activate it for an, for an hour. All right, guys, um, it should be open in an hour. Give it like five minutes and then take a look at it again and try it. Um, Ryan, show me your actual account and I will join. Ryan, I have nothing to prove to anybody. Um, everything is open. The people from the conference room are actually in this room. Uh, you can also go on to our videos. We have videos as well. Okay. Um, where we actually take the trades in front of you. There, there's nothing to be hidden here. Everything's transparent. Okay. Uh, Nelson, I've sent out an invitation but did not receive any coupon. Uh, where can I join from? I guess you guys have to discuss amongst each other if you guys want to, um, you know, uh, share the coupon codes or whatnot. I, I really don't want... Uh, I should stop the recording. Give me a second here. Let me just... Uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this was um, urbanforex.com on Wednesday, August 22nd. And uh, if you guys have any questions, join urbanforex.com. And we have a chat room there, and we, we will help you out there. Be sure to join the, um, uh, the waiting list if you're not on the waiting list.